Thanks for the delivery. We'll probably see you again soon. Well, so far today has been pure chaos. It's Monday and businesses are finally open again, finally, right? And we've been running around and our phones have been blowing up all day. We're chasing this material, that product, this delivery, that person, and uh, it's been really, really stressful. <laughs> our goal was to get some work done today and it seems like today is gonna be pretty much full of just picking this up, dropping that off, and calling people. So far, we've been able to coordinate the delivery of our sheetrock, which just arrived, and also our secondary roof um, underlayment. I can't even think of what it's called, substrate. Just showed up. That was awesome. We talked to those guys nearly two months ago, and we were finally able to place the order. We need the substrate because we want to set that up uh, in the loft to build a temporary floor so that we can install the south wall panels. A very kind subscriber who follows us, his name is Chris, sent us these fall harnesses and we're looking forward to finally getting a chance to use them. We're missing a few pieces though, um, which Chris did note we need to get a rafter plate or something to attach to the ridge and then we also need to get a lifeline. But we've got the, the hook and our lanyards and we've also got the harness. From making a few phone calls, it sounds like it's actually gonna be easier just to replace everything. There's a product in the market called Compliance in a Bucket or um, Bucket of Safety. We're gonna go ahead and pick up a couple of those and if the harnesses aren't as good as the ones we have here, we'll probably just use the ones that Chris sent. But it sounds like if we buy the Lifeline and we buy the rafter plate separate, we may end up spending more than the entire bucket of safety would cost all on its own. Melissa's parents are on their way up. They have offered to come up and help uh, cook and take care of everybody, as well as help prep panels and be here for the weekend. It's gonna be crazy this weekend. Since they're en route, they're making a few stops along the way, which we really appreciate. They're gonna be picking up some things that we just couldn't find locally. One of those is the bucket of safety, so they're gonna stop and grab that. And then we also need some eye bolts. We're gonna use those to through bolt the panels when the crane is here. One, they're gonna be flying up really high overhead, and two, some of the panels are gonna be really heavy. So it makes sense to go ahead and through bolt them, that way there's no chance that they can uh, come separated from the crane themselves. I did a little bit of work over here just a minute ago, moving some of the uh, cutoffs from the trees. We've gotta get some of our trailers moved over because our SIP panels should be here soon and we're gonna run into the same problem we had with the timber frame raising, that there's just gonna be no room in here to prep all the panels and then have room for a crane. We talked to the crane this morning. He's gonna be here tomorrow afternoon and help us raise whatever panels we can manage to get prepped between now and then. So we've gotta move these panels over here and make room for the crane there so that his boom can reach the backside of the north wall. But the good news is he can reach this direction pretty far to pick up panels. So we may actually be preparing panels clear over here, kind of where we haven't been doing. And then he can swing over and put them in place on the uh, north and south gables. At this point, tomorrow afternoon feels like really, really soon. And it doesn't feel like we're gonna get hardly any panel prep done. But at the same time, we're getting all the supplies, the materials, the people and everything here to help us have a really productive end of week and weekend. Good prep makes a good project and right now we're feeling really far behind. So we've got to go get the Bobcat. Uh, we've got to have that here because statistically our sit panels are just going to show up out of nowhere and unlike last time we don't want to waste an entire day moving them from another delivery point. So we want to have the Bobcat here and ready to go that way when we get the last minute phone call we're ready to offload those. Plus that'll give us the ability to move some of these other panels a little bit easier and eventually move the sheetrock and the plywood. When we get back from that, we've gotta move some of this plywood up and start getting the platform built in the loft. Then, we're trying to get furring strips. That's all we're trying to get done today is furring strips.
Bobcat's here, plywood's here, sheetrock's here. There's only a couple of things missing. We've got a pull and hold order for lumber. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna need more lumber than we had on hand to finish the sips. But we knew that when we started this project. In fact, we actually used quite a bit of the lumber that we milled for that floor right there because, uh, so ashamed, but we did a horrible job stickering it when we kind of had the sips show up out of nowhere. And so it kind of warped. Okay, it warped quite a bit. Uh, we re-stickered it or restacked it yesterday morning, as you guys know, but it didn't do any good, of course, in 10 seconds that it was stickered. So we're gonna go get some at the lumber store. We've gotta go get that. It sounds like we're having a really hard time finding the eye bolts that we need for the sit panels, and it's really important that we have a way to secure those panels. So we're gonna grab some coupling nuts and all thread, and I think we're gonna have to make our own. So we're off to get lumber before everybody closes. I've had several pairs of these safety sunglasses in the past and the most recent pair that I had I left in the door of our car for a long time and the lenses got destroyed and our local building center just started stocking them and I don't know about you guys but when you find a pair of sunglasses that fit really good you buy them. I feel like you're more likely to wear a pair of sunglasses that fit good and by sun I mean safety if they fit well and they don't limit your field of view. You know those Carhartt safety glasses that I usually wear, the black ones? Love them, but they really do limit my field of view. Those black frames, when you're walking at heights, they're a little disconcerting because they block your peripheral. I feel like these don't do that. Do we have straps? Yeah, I feel like we're spending all day in the truck. Do you get that feeling? Well, yeah. between the truck and the phone, that's pretty much what today's been about. Yeah, it's really frustrating. Yep. Oh yeah, we did pick up some of this stuff. I'm not proud of it, but we may have to use it. But we're going to try not to if we don't have to. Get the lumber! Check! Now we have to return the trailer to our friend's house because we don't got space on this property. The sun is setting quickly. My parents just arrived. So we're gonna join them for dinner in a little bit and we still unfortunately have a long list of things we want to do before tomorrow. Whew. That's all I can say. I think Jesse's trying to figure out if the forks will reach into our uh, living level here. Pretty good, isn't it? So it looks like the forks will reach. No, not high enough. No? No. Well, they won't reach all the way, but if we wanted to hoist a few sheets up there, we could. Yeah, I mean, we could put the unit up there and pull some off, but yeah. it's not going to get high enough, so I think we should use the backhoe. Okay. Yep, we we'll just hand load them into the backhoe and then we'll put them up there and then we can just slide them into the house. So, I think it'll work better. Drop the trailer off of Justin's. Go, 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 go. Yep, need to take that back. Yeah, see where we're at. I think we should stop and see the geese on the way, just for good measure. Okay. Because the thing about geese is you never know when they're going to be gone. You kind of know when they're coming back. You know, the, them babies, they, they just grow up overnight. They do. One day they're like this big and they can barely run across the road and the next day there's a big fuzzball. And you <laughs> want to be there for the fuzzball. It's really cute. Um, please don't judge how dirty our truck is. I promise. The camera makes it look way worse than it actually is. Where is he? There's Papa Goose. Hold oh, on. He's on the march. Papa Goose is on patrol. Look at all them baby geese. Aw, taking the family for a swim. There's so many babies in this field. Like every pair of geese you see has their own little family. And that's what they do in the evenings. I think in the midst of all this building chaos, it's really easy to forget where we live. But on our average drive into town, we get to see geese, baby geese, deer, herons, all sorts of animals. But it's all too easy to get caught up in the stress of our life and building this house.
I'm gonna have to pull oh, there, there we you go. go. This ain't good. Well, we're back and we chatted about it and we think we're going to make the decision to just relax this evening and spend time with my parents. Haven't seen them since the timber frame workshop, which is over six months. And they drove all the way very far just to come help us over the next week and be here with us, which means a lot. And we really do enjoy their company. Also, we figure that if the crane is coming tomorrow at one and we get up really early, like the butt crack of dawn, we should be able to get in almost a full working day before the crane arrives on site. And we figure that it's better that we're rested instead of trying to burn the midnight oil, trying to be ready because very quickly we're gonna lose light. We really don't wanna be in ladders in the loft, which is our next, next task. So I don't know, I think what we wanted to share today is that this is building a house. This is what building a house looks like. More often than not, it doesn't look like pounding nails or making physical progress on the house. It's all this planning and running around, sometimes making two trips to town in a day, two trips to the hardware store, endless phone calls. Once you have all your materials on site and you have a plan, building actually goes quite quick. In fact, the first couple days we spent putting the panels up, we were shocked at how much progress we made because that typically doesn't happen on the first day. But we're confident with everything on site and my parents' help, we should be able to divide and conquer pretty well. We're probably gonna try really delegating certain tasks. For example, instead of every person working on their own panel, every person is gonna have their own task. So in theory, my mom handles the screws, I handle the splines, Jesse handles the foam, my dad handles the GRKs. We're not really sure, but we're confident that if we have a good dinner and get some rest tonight, we should be able to figure out a system to get this massive to-do list done and get some panels raised tomorrow. I'm not sure if we're gonna do the full wall, two walls, I doubt it, or even half a wall. I guess at this point we're gonna be happy with whatever progress we do make because that's less we need to do with the crane on Saturday, which is the crane operator's next availability. Ready for some grub? You know what I've noticed? What? No matter what we do every day, I'm tired at the end of the day. Yeah. Feels like all we've done is drive in circles and pick things up and drop things off, but I am tired. I'm ready for dinner, I'm hungry. It'd be nice to spend some time together. Because basically, starting in about 12 okay. hours. It's gonna be pure chaos. Uh, make that 11 hours. <laughs> Better go warn Bugaboo too. <laughs> make sure he knows that the circus is about to show up and it's about yeah. to get cray up in here. Let's go relax, eat dinner, do that sleep thing, and then we'll start pounding away in the morning. The sun's over there right now, and in the morning, it'll be over there. I want to share where I found Bugaboo sleeping. It's in the frame right now. Can you guys guess it? I don't think you're gonna guess it. Jesse was shocked when I showed him. I came home and Bugaboo is sleeping in that little hole right there. I think there's somewhat of a cold draft coming out from under the RV garage and he was enjoying it and soaking it all up. Pretty dang cute. Mm -hmm. 